Hey y'all, so coming back with an update for my phone because I don't have my camera. So today is August 29th, August 30th. It's one of those days. I am 31 weeks, two days. And yesterday, um, I got up for work, and if you know, I get up at like 4, 15 every morning, because I started work at 5, and about 3 hours and 45 minutes into my shift, I started to feel like fuzzy, and I mean like fuzzy all over my body, even my head. But it wasn't like I was feeling dizzy. I just was feeling fuzzy. Like almost like the stage of right before uh, feeling dizzy. But I never really quite felt dizzy. And so I made sure to tell my wife what was going on. Um, so she can keep an eye on me. Um, and she can know what was going on. And so then. Um, thank you, Denise. So then she made me breakfast. I ate breakfast. I finished out my day. I got off at 10 yesterday. Um, and then what happened? My head started to hurt. So I was like, okay, let me just sit down and rest somewhere. Um, so I sat down and was relaxing, but it was still hurting. I was still feeling that same way. So I ended up taking a nap like maybe a few hours later. So I woke up and um, the nap was pretty good. I think I slept for like two hours. And when I got up, I was feeling okay. And then boom, 30 minutes afterwards, I was back having that same feeling. And I've been drinking my water and drinking fluids. Haven't had much salt intake. At least I don't think I've had much salt intake um, I've been eating vegetables and I've been doing fruit and so I just was like you know what because Jasmine was like well what do you want to do do you want to go to the hospital and I'm like I don't know babes right so I was like um yeah it was a boob it almost got me but anyways so I was just like well let's just Let's see, after I go to bed, maybe everything will be fine. Woke up, was feeling fine. Same thing is happening again. This time, I'm starting to feel dizzy, a little lightheaded. So, and I've been drinking water. I, this is my third bottle since 5 o'clock this morning. And it is, what time it is, babes? Like one o'clock. I don't think she hit me, but it's like one one fifteen, something like that. And I'm on my third. Uh, this is for twenty four ounces, so it's about three cups in the bottle. So I've had six cups of water so far today. Um, I'm trying to think have I had any other type of fluid nope just been water all day today so and I've had breakfast for me. so I'm not sure what else could be taking place but we are headed to the hospital to see what's what and I will do my best to keep you guys updated and to bring you along oh also i wanted to say i think why i haven't been as like paranoid about it is because i've been feeling baby girl move um she's still been up in there doing her aerobics and pilates and so that has been keeping my spirit in the upbeat if you will so that's that i shall see you guys
Hey guys, welcome back. So, in the last clip, uh, you guys saw that we went to uh, triage, labor and delivery. Um, I just gotta say, y'all, my wife's so beautiful, can she? Brown skin, you know I love you. All right, anyways, uh, so we went to uh, labor and delivery triage got checked out everything was good um we had a doctor's appointment today and baby girl is looking good per usual and um super grateful super blessed and so the doctor was saying that the fuzzy feeling that i was feeling could be from not eating when i immediately get up so she wants me to um eat on like some small crackers even though like i am hydrating once i get up but I try eating like some small crackers um and seeing if that help and just to kind of keep an eye on it um and then also you guys saw we went to carter's and we went to target didn't film any in target because one the smell that target was given was not where it was at and then two i had too much stuff in my hand and so i didn't have the option to to really pick up this camera but we found a couple of pieces so cute that we love um and this is more so like babes um, picking up or picking out some items for baby girl versus me picking everything out. So yeah, the items that I'm going to show you guys once we get back to the house will have been findings from her mother. And so we about to either go get something to eat and head to the house or head to the house and eat what's in the house. Either way, I will come back and give you guys an update So we made it back home and so as promised I wanted to show you just a few items that we picked up for baby girl and so so we got this well her, her mama picked these pieces out for her which just comes with a little hat and then she got her some mittens and burp cloths so i'm gonna add it to this pile which i'm not washing anything yet i'm not washing anything yet um because uh the wife is still working on the dresser with getting it stained so i just add it to the pile and then i'm gonna tackle this mess today because <sighs> yeah so I'm gonna sit on my uh, pregnancy ball while I fold them and just do some like little pregnancy stretching and all of that while I am getting my house to clean because it is necessary. So you may or may not come along for that, but either way, I'll see you guys in the next clip. All right, y'all, so Got my kitchen clean and I got the living room straightened up. Of course, I mean, there's still stuff that needs to be moved from the living room, but it no longer looks like the laundry area. And this little cutie came in today in the mailbox and it came with two books per my aunt. Thank you so much, auntie, for the gifts. We love and appreciate it and you. So, battery's about to die. Catch y'all in the next one. <laughs> 